Hello, Gen Chem students. This is your last weekly update. It's technically like the end of week 14 because Monday is the end of our academic weeks. But I wanted to send you a message with some details about the final exam so that I know you get it right before you need it. Um, but first, I want to tell you all congratulations for making it to the end of a very difficult semester and a difficult year. I, for one, am really proud of, of you for sticking through it, despite all of the, the many, many obstacles um, each, each student has faced this year. Um, it's really impressive. So regardless of your grade, and, and by the way, just so you know this, um, grades are not a reflection of your capability or of your future success or really of anything about you as an individual person. Grades are a metric that measures how much you know at this time, but that's always something that changes over time. So you should just you should just be aware of that. So regardless of what grades you get, you should be proud of completing the semester and um, dealing with uh, just crazy times right now. I'm proud of you. So you should be proud of yourself too. About the exam, so the final exam is in person and um, depending on which time you're coming, which I'll go through in just a moment, um, you need to know where to go. So I'm gonna show you a map. Remember that you only really need to bring two things with you, pencils and a calculator. I hope it's a calculator that you're familiar with. You know how to do um, scientific notation and any, any other math like logarithms if you're in Gen Chem too. Um, on the calculator that you're using because each calculator does it a little bit differently. So if it's a new one for you, make sure you practice a little bit before the test. Um, then you're going to come on campus, do the normal check-in thing, okay? And um, the check-in is actually, let's see, let's see if we can zoom in on this a bit. There we go. So you can find this map, by the way, you just go to mbcc.edu and type in map and then Utica campus. But I like to draw, pull it up because I can draw on it for you. <clears throat> so when you come to campus, this is the building where you do ACC. This is the building where you do your security check-in. If your test is scheduled for 11 a.m. on Tuesday, which is the 11th um, of May, that is mostly for Gen Chem 1 students who have lecture that is scheduled for 1 p.m. on Tuesday. You're gonna go straight across the quad, which is where like, like the grassy area is, into Payne Hall. And then it's going to be downstairs, almost underneath the library steps uh, on the right-hand side of the building. So this, this room right here is where your test is. That's Payne Hall 102. So ground floor, you go in the doors, take a right, it's right there. Two big black brown double doors. All right, and then um, if you are scheduled for Gen Chem 2, your final exam is um, at 3 p.m. on Tuesday the 11th. Some people in Gen Chem 1 have also signed up for that because of conflicts. So this may apply to you as well that way. You are gonna actually go um, out of the ACC building. I always walk across the diagonal bit into the AB building, only one of these doors is open, so follow the signs appropriately. And you can only go in this direction. Uh, if you're a lady, there's a bathroom right here. You might wanna use it before your test because the other bathroom, you have to make a complete circle around the whole building. And the men's room is actually kind of like in the hallway next to that. So you might wanna stop there. Um, you're gonna go into this weird hallway, it kind of makes a U shape, right? So you go in here and AB 148 is in the middle of that U shape. It's not in the main hallway, okay? So it's kind of in the center of the building, it's on the bottom floor and you basically make a right and follow, follow it around <clears throat> until you see a sign on the ceiling that points you towards the, the rooms that are in the 140s and those are in the middle of this U shape on the downstairs floor. That's for Tuesday at 11, or I'm sorry, Tuesday at 3 p.m. 
Thursday at 6 p.m. will actually go to the same place, okay? So again, you just walk in the front door. It's the only one that's open. Take a right, follow around, past the bathrooms, follow around, and eventually you'll see a sign um, that that's pointing down the hallway for rooms that are within that range of 148. It doesn't list 148 specifically, but it, it gives you a range, all right? And so you're going to come in and... Um, Pick a seat. Everybody needs to stay six feet apart, like always, with a mask on, like always. Um, I will give you the materials that you need for the exam, except for a pencil or a calculator. Um, again, if you don't have those things, let me know in advance and I'll bring them with you, uh, with me, so you can borrow them. But I need to know in advance. I don't just walk around with those in my pocket or anything. Um, the last couple things uh, I want to make sure you understand: all of your stuff is due to me, um, no later than the time of your final exam. So if you've come in to take your final, you need to bring in any other items to turn into me. Most things are turned in digitally anyway, but um, like for Gen Chem two, you'll have a lot of qual scheme stuff and lab stuff to turn in for me. Um, Gen Chem one students, if there's anything that isn't uploaded and you need graded you can bring it as well. Um, remembering, of course, that I'm not your lab teacher, or if I'm not your lab teacher, I don't um, collect anything for them. They have folders in the lab that you can, you can leave things for them if you need to, um, so long as they're still accepting the work, okay? If um, you don't have an exam with me this week, um, there is a, a plate, you can either, Leave it with Kate in the lab, or more optimally, I'll get it any time of day if you go to my office, which most of you have never been to. And there is a there is a basket on my door. So my office is also in the academic building. In this case, you'll come in the door, you'll go up some stairs that are right here. That's my version of staircase. And you'll walk around to the back side of the building. My office is AB226. My name is on it, so you can't miss it. And um, there's, a, there's a basket on my door. You can leave things there. Please send me um, a text message or a Discord message to let me know to go get it. All right. If, uh, if you don't do that, it's likely that I won't look because I don't go to my office very often these days. All right. But that is another option for turning work in at your exam, or you can leave it in my basket in my office, one of those two places. Um, if you want to get your work collected back, you can send me an email and we can arrange for a time to do that. Or you can send me an email with your home address or your mailing address, and I will mail it to you after I'm finished. Either way is fine with me. Okay. So it's been a great semester. I know it hasn't been easy, and I'm really proud of you guys for sticking with it. Um, and I can't wait to see what great things you're going to do in the future. Um, so good luck on your tests this week. And then after this, I hope you get to rest a little bit. Bye, everybody.